YouTube in its ongoing attempt to keep poster and viewer alike on their respective toes has added a brand new feature, and I dare say it's most pointless yet. But kickers allow me formally to introduce you to the reaction box. Yes, instead of adding comments which require a modicum of physical and mental effort, why not just click one of six words instead? Apparently the powers that be conferred for hours, days even, and arrived at a concise list of six words that are able to encompass every single YouTube video made thus far. And these words are funny, incredible, classic, cute, what, and ouch. It's pretty flattering of YouTube to think all videos really only require one-word reactions. If we take another look at my reaction box for yesterday's video, apparently six people thought so as well. One person even thought my video merited an ouch. Honestly, this reaction box is just going to turn into another thing for all the hopelessly typical YouTube whores to turn into another annoying annotation. Like this video, favorite this video, subscribe to my channel, comment on this video, and now who knows? Give this video a funny. I'm going to try and defy classification in this video, butt kickers, so prepare to vote for all six reaction words. <laughs> Good afternoon, butt kickers. It's yip you do hop it up. What? I wonder how many confused people just unsubscribed. Good afternoon, butt kickers. It's August 5, the 217th day of 2011, which means it's International Beer Day. That's right, beer lover. No matter why you enjoy drinking beer, whether it's because that way you can call all drinks that aren't beer woman drinks, or whether it's because you like to talk pompously and unendingly about beer like you're the encyclopedia of all things beer, today is your day. Now, please take note that today is meant to celebrate beer quality, not necessarily quantity. So a six-pack of Goose Island Honkers Ale, for example, would be preferable to a 30-pack of Keystone Light. Just remember, it's International Beer Day, not Walloping Hangover Eve. Today is a day to study beer, to meditate on beer, and chugging Natty Light is doing neither of those things. For example, you can work on your personal formula for how beer affects the perceived magnitude of physical attractiveness of the opposite gender. For me, it's the attractiveness quotient graded on the classic 1 to 10 scale, plus number of beers consumed divided by 3 equals the adjusted attractiveness quotient. Do the math. A 1 will never be a 10 unless you're in a coma. So that means, yes, your girlfriend will never be a 10 unless you're in a coma. Oh, burn. Also, today is the anniversary of the first ever electric traffic light installed in Cleveland, Ohio, 97 years ago today. And so I'm asking you not to sully the anniversary of the creation of something meant to counterbalance the inherent danger of driving by adding to the danger of driving on International Beer Day. Basically, I'm gently implying that the celebrators of IBD should be pedestrians. Believe me, after appreciating beer all day, your feet may hurt, but you won't care. Or feel it. Now well, let's see, what do I have left? Incredible and cute. Well, might as well knock both of those out with one single JPEG. It's time to bust out the Incredible Hulk cat. Until tomorrow, he's Griffin. He's still talking.